No cap. Media Productions. Yo, what? Yo, 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 whack. Is, is everything okay? Niggas is saying that something happened at Super Bowl, and and I and I know I know you moved too. Let me too ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What happened? They said this is the most people that have ever been in Las Vegas in history, right? That is true. At, right? Regardless of what people want to say, Whack 100 is a public figure. That is true. I take a lot of pictures. Okay. Now, here we go again. Do you think Whack 100 could have been involved in an argument, altercation, or a rumble or a fight? First of all, who was I fighting? Is somebody claiming it? Yeah, that was all. Come on, who? Who? First of all, because these persons would be lit right now. That was odd. Now, by the way, if people don't uh, know what's going on, there was an erroneous rumor that came out. I knew not to bite into it, so I, I didn't even put it out. It said that WAC 100 got either beat up or was involved in some altercation. And by the way, I was in Vegas too. Nobody, like, if there was an altercation of anybody of importance. I didn't hear about no altercations. I was shocked. What, what, what? It, 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 it looks like it looks like is it, the, that info because I was wondering where it came from. Turns oh, out the, the most roughest thing that it is is fucking Kanye and the little white girl. No, you're right. But I hear the the reason the rumor came out is because y'all got like a whole like civil war at No Jumper where the where the brick Ooh. baby dude is claiming that you. First of all, who is this thing? Right, we talked about this. It's, it's all these nobody. You got two no way. How many nobodies you got? Two or three. You got two nobodies trying to get you to give them attention. And it's one or two of them up there trying to get me to give them attention. Hey, by the way, no, I'm gonna give you some credit because that, that was the smartest thing you ever told me. You said, act, why are you talking about it? And and it took me a second because I'm like, no, I respond to everybody, and I realized uh, oh no matter even even if I just come out and be like, y'all are fucking liars, they enjoy it. And I'm like, damn. I can't. You can't they really got look. you to talk about them, but there ain't nobody. There ain't nobody. Who are they? So wait, why did they come up with this rumor that like play this? Yo, whack. I can't. I if can't there was a video a of you video getting video. beat up, you know how viral that would be. Bro, hey, listen to me. Listen to me, bro. You gotta understand this shit, right? I come from an era where it wasn't popular to be a blood. We were out number six, seven to one. A hand up fade was usually three, four motherfucking crips. Right? It's real shit. So fighting more than mother one motherfucker is normal to me. It's no big deal. But I'm trying to understand is who was I fighting? Where was I fighting? I, I don't get it. I watched the Super Bowl with my brother, QCP. He was in the 5,000 square foot suite looking at the dome from the palms, nigga. We, we had like nine TVs in this motherfucker. Hey. Three stories in this motherfucker. Hey, I ran into P. I ran to P out there, yeah. I was with, I watched P and the only nigga ran up on me was QCP because I'm screaming 49ers and every time the Chiefs got a first down, this big old motherfucker. Now, if they refer to that, fuck it, I got ran up on, but that's my brother. I don't know what these niggas is talking about, bro. We had a great time. I went to the Durango, and they got a new spot over there in summer. It's just amazing, the Durango. Great oyster bar, crazy shit. We ran a, won a little money at the uh, blackjack table. We hit them for like 80,000, 90,000. We got up out of there. Other than that, bro, Bruce County was with me the whole weekend. And hey, so what? We I think they trying to speak. On the urban, on the urban flick shit, bro. Body in the beach. I think you know they're trying to speak into existence. They're wishing something happens to you. <laughs> but, but, they but, but, always, but, listen, they've been playing up for my downfall. Right? Mm. Ain't nothing new. They've been playing for my downfall. But you know, my big brother, DJ Case Lake. This will revolutionize what your the fuck? What the fuck? All thanks to manscaped.com and their <laughs> Manscaped <laughs> so you can look and feel your best. Nah, nah, get this shit. Hurry, hurry up, man. Fuck the fucking Manscaped. So they better pray a little harder because that's a $200 million hit right there. Tell them they better pray a little harder.
Hey, friends, little itty bitty boys. Hey, what hey. up, bro? So I, I was, so I'm looking into the rumors, right? Because I'm like, yo, I'm like, where does this come from? I, I, I get it, and I figure it's coming from from that dude. Then I hear the same dude say he said, you know, like he got a real raspy voice. Like I don't know if he's high or he ain't blow the smoke out of his mouth he's yet. Stay high. He stay high. Yo, he, he said, he said. the nigga that got the federal case for AK-47. He ain't been to court date much. Yeah. I'm he, listening. He, he said he saw out of his own eyes you running one time. And I was like, that well, don't sound I've like I've never high. saw that dude in my life, bro. I've never saw this dude. Listen, act, this is what's crazy. I've never saw this individual in my life. This is why I tell him when he be like, Big Q was this to me. I'm like, bro. Me and Big U ran together 17 years. His house, football games, kids events, his events, all kind of shit. I've never seen you around him. I've seen a hundred niggas around him. I know them all by name and face. I've never seen you. And then come to find out, they say, whack, the nigga got shot on Chris Charles Lawson. He got shot. He shitted on himself at the spot he got shot at. And his mama shipped him to Atlanta. And he did 10, 12 years in Atlanta. And that's where he met, I guess, uh, uh, Roscoe, you know, the dude be with Pee Wee. I mean, be with us, thug. So this nigga is really a, a Atlanta 60s. Oh. Yeah, he got shot out here in L.A., shitted on himself. First, he was from another gang. He was from another gang, Harlem 30s. Yeah. Right? And then he got turned up out of the 60s, got shot, shitted on himself at the scene, which I don't know if that's normal or not. I ain't never been shot. And then his mama shipped his ass to fucking Atlanta. So this probably why the era of me and Big U running, I never seen the dude. I don't know the dude. What, 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 be honest, be honest with me. Because bro, I'm, y'all work in the same building. I feel like that, that's like a hazard. Bro. Are you ever bro. pulling up to the building like, I pray this nigga <laughs> is not here? I always, I want to catch him. But he knows that. They know the time. Look, I, I don't know what time they there. They know what time I'm coming up. I told him today I'll be there today, 5 o'clock, on Paul Road. Were you there at 5 o'clock? Or... I'm on my way right now. I'm five minutes from the <laughs> Oh, nah. He might be there. He's working security. And we're going to get right to it. What? With my what? With my security. Y'all what you asking? No, no, no. I-, I said he might be working security. Like, like, yo, wait. So you've never seen him at the building? Ever in my life. Ever. I've never seen this dude physically in my life. No, he, he has said Never. that. He said that he said that it's a reason why you don't do things live cuz I guess you don't want to know, you don't want him to know when you're there. Like you be like you you're playing hot and seek. Live. What the fuck you mean? Well, do things live. I don't I I record with uh Adam, bro. I don't know what the fuck I do. You know what I do, bro? Put your fucking headphones on, bro. And I freestyle. What the fuck? I do the same shit with you I do with him. What is he talking about doing something live? I don't know about none of that shit, though. My IG don't even go live. I've been restricted for like six months. So mm. I don't know what he's referring to, bro. Hey, yo, did you hear Brandon Marshall say that Kanye got kicked out of the session by, by Taylor Swift? Another lie. The nigga went over there to the YG box. When I was hollering at the homie in YG box, Jay then walked in. My daughter's security was security with Jay. Pitbull. You know what I'm saying? So he never I got kicked out. Security. No, they just, bro, they just rolled it. Go fuck with YG him, bro. Nigga, if Jay would have been getting kicked out, Jay would have made the scene. Nigga, we'd have seen that shit. You know that. It'd have been cameras on that shit. Bro. Yeah, you know, I was thinking the same. I'm like, I've never seen like a, a he, silent. He's he talking, bro. Anytime it's a name, right? It's a name attached to whatever they're saying. People talking about it. They ain't got to have no proof. They ain't got to have shit. Mm. That's true. Uh, don't think about it. you would have saw. No, 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 you're right. You're right, though. You're right. Him out. Jerry would have been talking crazy, swinging them fucking long ass arms in his. You would have saw the escort all the way to the parking lot. All that shit, bro. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When he ain't, when he ain't get invited, or according to him, he ain't get invited to like one of his son's birthday parties or something like. He made that a scene. That was on TMZ. See, all that. Now you talking about in the fucking the, the stadium? Get the fuck out of here, bro. And it's nothing. They said whack out a fight. Who who I fight with? You even heard a nigga claim to fight? 
like, come on, bro. What are we talking about? Right? Well, well, everybody's expecting that it's gonna be like, like some some rolling sixties person because like the big U stuff, like big rolling sixties was with me. Loose Cannon was with me the whole weekend from Rolling Sixty Crib. Don't they my fitness partner, bro? On Urban Flix, all you motherfuckers, we just three beds yesterday. We went big. 200 motherfucking thousand nigga um, subs, nigga. The first three men right yesterday. Uh, Beauty and the Beast is going up. Niggas getting stripped butt naked. Niggas getting robbed. Bitches getting packed out. Nigga, we got some, some real West Coast hood shit going on. And it getting worse. Next week, we got the big you Nipsey footage when he FaceTimed the boy and was 30 minutes late. It's going down. We got Crip Mac getting marked out on there, hiding behind the couch. We got the boy Yael for Park Village Stop and Crip getting not a hey, pro. Wait, so so next w- wait next week if they subscribe they could catch the footage of it like the Nipsey they footage. Catch they catch it next week when we premiere uh, Friday. <clears throat> go check the motherfucker out on Urban Flix. Go, go to UrbanFlix.tv, nigga, and download that shit and check out Patty uh, and the Beast. That's Sharice Sharice Mills. <clears throat> And my boy Loose Cannon. Loose Cannon was with me the whole weekend. It was a road of 60 with me the whole weekend, bro. Damn. He hey. was with me. Everywhere I went, I went, he went with me. Hey, I hey. don't get what he's talking about. Hey, hey, did Blueface get another girl pregnant? I see another girl claiming that she's pregnant by him. <laughs> Who is that? She, Some girl named Bonnie? She tatted his face on her hey. thigh? Or ass or something? I don't know. Bro. I've been seeing all kinds of people. I don't know if those tats real or that's that fucking... What you call that shit? The N and Ink or whatever that shit is? It, 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 is the Krishan shit real? Krishan shit real. It's yeah. Real. It is. Oh, shit. Bonnie, but Bonnie got a kid already. What she talking about? She had a kid when we met her. Like, she on season one. In fact, the um, bad girls. She already got, she got like a son or some shit. Mm. Hey, hey, son, hey. gotta be like five, six, five years old. Or hey, hey, whack. He, he, ain't blue faced kid, though. Hey, hey whack. He, he, because you're a manager and I know you know the business, let's talk this. Because I, I seen it pop off and I was I cared about the business part of it, not, not the other part of it. So I guess like uh, Krishan was like mad at the Lemuel Plumber dude from Zeus because she felt she yeah, she was she was deserved more money for like either like some shit. If you a manager of if you a manager of of anybody or even Blueface because you, you manage Blueface and Blueface has had contracts with them, how do you determine mm-hmm. somebody's worth when it comes to a reality show? <clears throat> well, first and foremost, um, when you're dealing with these reality shows that got a bunch of people, that's a different story. But if it's just you on the solo and you and your Love interest, different story. Mm. So <clears throat> I believe the one was in question was like a her and a bunch of people. Okay, okay. And I yeah. think that's what she's going wrong at. So you got like, say it's a reality show, say it's the acid wax show, mm. right? All right, so we're going to get the majority of the bag and then our little extra is going to take care of whatever, right? Mm-hmm. But if it's an ensemble where it's <clears throat> act, whack, Troy Ab, Blue face, Rashad Rock, fucking Jim Jones. <clears throat> it's gonna be a different bag, bro. Like fucking loving hip hop. Me and you both know it's a lot of them motherfuckers on love and hip hop making three, four thousand an episode. Yeah. Some fifteen hundred. And that's per episode they shoot. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's real shit, bro. Like that shit be I like, am keeping it real. I think I had one of the highest paid contracts back when we first started, cause love and hip hop Hollywood. Um, wouldn't have happened if Ray J was, wasn't going to do it. They already had told Mona, if Ray J not doing it, we ain't green like the show. And I think I was at, back then, this is 20, what was that, 11, 12? We was at 50,000 with a guaranteed 11, whether he shot it not. Mm. Right, that's back then. Now it was a different story. So, you know, I think Krishan's not understanding um, her and Blueface show was different because it was just you and Blueface versus... Um, that other show, show with all those girls. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So what she got to understand is... How do you judge a celebrity? Uh, like, because I think that's what she's looking at. Like, 
yo, I'm so lit that I should nah, be with she's me. not a celebrity like she's not she's not a um she's not a celebrity like that. Not yet. I mean she's a public figure. People know who she is. Can't take that from her, but you know, is she motherfucking goddamn Shawnee O'Neal or motherfucking some nah, get the fuck out of here. You working up to that, but this is not how you work up to that, turning down the, the, the job. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you gotta remember the pros and cons of this shit. Her strengths and her weakness. Her strength is now her weakness because he's in jail. You need him to be here for you to be lit. Without him, you're not lit. Yeah. Hey. If you're not talking about him and all this shit, when he stopped responding to her for them four months, that shit was going down. She was doing all the stuff, the diss songs, the this, 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 that. When I had him not responding, it wasn't working. So now you're going on something. He's not here for you to tap into, so she's supposed to take on that job to keep her face out there, keep her name out there, <clears throat> while he's locked down. Right? She could have went in and negotiated a little more, mm. but the number she was talking about, you know, like I know, they're not gonna give you amount that kills off the whole fucking show. Yeah, they gotta pay other people. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey did you hear Boosie talk about you recently? But Boosie was like. He didn't talk about him. Boosie was very respectful, bro. Stop trying to cast like shit. No, 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 no. He said what I told you. Remember I told you, I said, hey, I talked to Boosie on the DM. I sent Boosie the paperwork. That's why his energy was a little different. He hadn't seen the paperwork. That's why he said me and Wack hollered and, you know, it wasn't, you know, it's cool. We we hollered. Because he seen the work. And did you catch what he said? What did he say? You didn't catch what he said. He said... You won't catch Boosie name on no paperwork. Oh, so you say he could only vouch himself. Catch that. He could only vouch himself. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, yeah. Because once once I send him to work, it, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, nigga, like, you speak, nigga, he go to work. You, are you defending this? Once I send him to work, Boosie is street nigga. Like I'm a street nigga. There's only so much he can say. Now if he gonna say, whack, that's just my homeboy. What it is, but nigga, so be that. But you know. Don't pop at me because I'm telling exposed to the niggas a rat and I got to work. He hadn't saw the work. For whatever reason, he thought I was just trolling. Boosie no better. I don't troll like that. Whack gonna have to work. That's a fact. Yo, Whack, you, you, do you feel like it's at the point where, like, you might have to just chill out with exposing people? Because I feel like there's a I lot of people. With we got five more niggas on the chopping block, nigga. Wow. Exposing the shit out of the nigga. The exposers is here to stay. Straight up, nigga. Let me tell y'all, all you fake ass street niggas, you fake ass rappers, you know what the biggest motherfucking threat is in the street right now, act? You know what it is? What? The truth. The truth is the biggest threat in the streets right now. Yeah, that nigga's gonna find out the truth. Finesse two times running around this motherfucker. And I'm calling J Prince out, and I'm calling. Uh, J. Prince Jr. out. You niggas had a whole lot to say about me doing business with motherfucking 6 9 I had a whole lot to say with me interviewing 6 9 and I told the world, I'm going to do business with the man. I don't give a fuck who he told on. As long as you ain't raped no woman, molested no child, or assaulted no elderly motherfucker, I don't give a fuck who you told on. Let them niggas deal with that. Now, the next two times, been exposed, he's a rat. Okay, mob ties. Okay, rap a lot. Okay, J Prince respect. Okay, little J Prince. Nigga, what y'all gonna do? Y'all said whack under any circumstances that you be doing business with a rat. I said, hey, I take a different stance. I'm gonna do business who I want to do business with. That was my stance publicly, was it not that? And I stood on it. Yeah, no, right? No, 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 when y'all you called me and said whack, they gonna eat you up. What did I tell you, whack? I don't give a fuck. Keep it real. Yeah. Okay, so so what's up with the mob ties dudes? And this nigga finesse two times, they gonna let him go? What's happening? Don't select the politic now. What's happening? No, let's keep it real. The rat paperwork is out. Finesse two times is a motherfucking rat. I ran the work six months ago. The three dudes is out there and released the work. So what is motherfucking mob ties, J Prince respect? And Lil J Prince gon' do. By what they say, they supposed to stop fucking with him, right? Yeah, but, but, I, but I'm pretty sure they won't. Ain't no but. No, 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 no. Ain't no but. Then they pussy and they hypocrites. 
Because one thing about whack, I told the world what I was doing. I never hid it, did I? And I told them why I was doing it and didn't give a fuck about what they thought. These niggas, oh, no, nah, whack, that ain't gangster. You supposed to be for the street. Motherfucker, get some talent. You ain't supposed to fuck with him at all. Okay, but now you got this nigga that's sung on three motherfuckers. Hey, what we doing? Hey, whack, you, you was definitely gassing about the, the whole Big U and Gilly thing, right? Hell no, I ain't gassing. Nigga, that wasn't me. Nigga, Gilly's a bitch, too. He's a bitch-ass nigga. Oh, bitch-ass, bitch-ass, triple bitch-ass nigga. This other nigga, uh, Lil Rose from Rolling Sixties, bro. He come. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what Lil Rose come in the room. Yo, whack. What's the guy out of the smoke? Go ahead, homie. He start telling the story. I don't know nothing about this story. Whack wasn't there. He like, yeah, nigga. Like, you know, we had to see your son brought you to the hood, and we pulled up, caught you and your son. Y'all had on all your jewelry, nigga. We strip you, niggas. You don't know it's when you use big you name. We didn't give a fuck. The nigga told us y'all Jews was worth 150, 160, we stripped you niggas. Nigga and took that shit and cashed it in, and they brought your ass $20,000 back like we are bad. Nigga, we cashed that shit in and cut it up, right? <clears throat> nigga, the nigga want to get mad at me. Hey, you weird-ass nigga. I wasn't there. Wait, wait, wait. This dude from Rolling they, Sixties. They they think, wait, 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 wait. Gilly never got robbed, though. And him and his son got stripped. They stripped him in the Sixties. Big no. you lined they motherfucking ass up. They stripped him, took all their jury. The nigga that did it came on the stage and said he did it. And, and, and the nigga get mad at me like I did it. Nigga, I ain't did it. I, I ain't do it. I wasn't there. No Fuck way. you mad at me for, nigga. So you're telling me that... Yeah, nigga Gilly, got mad at me, bro. Like, Gilly official nigga from Philly, man. Gilly not going like man, that. Gilly was that nigga had his hands up in the motherfucking air with his two kids. A father that couldn't protect his two kids. That's what he is, nigga. I told that nigga, look, bro, don't be popping at me, nigga. Because what another nigga said, nigga, that nigga from Rolling Six Crip, for real. Everybody know who that nigga is. He telling you, Vic, you lined your punk ass up. Now, if you got your ass robbed over there, you and your kids, he said Nipsey went over there and gave the niggas 20000 because he felt bad for him. Nah, Big U was right? kind of yelling. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 why you blame you though? Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. I don't know. A whole nother nigga telling the story. I ain't telling it. Like, it ain't like a nigga told me and I told the story. But the nigga that did it told the story. What the hell? Now I'm gonna tell you this act. If you and my homeboy kick you up to come bring you to my neighborhood, and my the niggas jump out on you, you be like, homie, I'm here for whack. You with my set. And the nigga said, I don't give a fucking strip you. I have something to do with that. Because that's what happened. That shit happened all the time. Niggas act like they don't know what's going on. You take a nigga really gonna be in the 60s and rob these niggas and they say, we here with Big U and they say, we don't give a fuck. Come on, bro. Now, I didn't know what he gonna say. This nigga got all kinds of stories. Lil Rose, Rolling 60 Crip. Everybody know who he is. He voluntarily came in there and, and, and you know, said that. The nigga Gilly get mad at me. Fuck you mad at me for? Now, the only reason I'm asking, because I remember when when, when you kicked off the, you know, the Hunter Side pod, Gilly was there, yeah, Wallow the was get there. Mad at me. He it was all up. Wallow, Wallow been, he been acting funny since me and Vic, you got into it, bro. But the nigga better leave me alone, because I didn't ran into him out here in L.A. a time or two. I wasn't tripping because there wasn't nothing going on. <laughs> the him and Wallow body motherfucking yourself, nigga. The niggas better chill out, nigga. Yo, you yo, better chill out, nigga. Yo, yo Paul wife. Rudo. Everybody want to know, right? Because they feel like you got so many enemies. Do you run into these hey, people? Hey, yo, act. Check this out. Let me let this be known. Off of east side of Corn with Paul Rudo Blood Gang, 12709. So I'm my original baby gangster. All you new booty, weird ass, out of town niggas, I've been a Paul Rudo 35 years. What the fuck? I've been had enemies. 35 years I've been having enemies. Nigga, niggas been trying to kill me all my life, bro. So, like, all this shit y'all talking about, some, some industry enemies, bro, I don't want to hear that weird ass shit. The fuck y'all think, nigga, I'm not none of you new wave ass niggas. I'm a power room, my nigga. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all, you got all these enemies. Act, you don't know the amount of enemies I have. You're talking about these rap crews. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I usually think 
I'm not not a lot of people call out Jay Prince and live to tell the story. Jay Prince is a bitch. I done seen Jay. See, you niggas is going off story. You ever seen Jay Prince do something? Or you going off a story? Man, you, I, I heard some just stories. Just be real, bro. No, I heard some okay. stories. Okay, crazy. there we go. I didn't heard some stories about me that I knew didn't even exist. I don't go off stories. Remember, I've been here, bro. You said it yourself. The thing about whack with you niggas is whack really know. Whack was really there. Whack could really get on that phone and whatever, right? I done been face to face with this man. He, he ain't like that, bro. Dude ain't like that, bro. Hey, like, y'all keep feeding me to the story, my nigga. I don't, hey, I don't hey, give a hey, fuck about none of that. What about that Jay Diggs dude? Did, did, did he ever like catch up? I don't know this dick. I don't know this nigga. He said he been on his way to the studio for like, like, like about like exactly. three months. Did exactly, he get there? Exactly. The nigga, did, you remember that Mexican dude that went and knocked on his door at his house? Hey, yeah. yo, can we pause, yo, can that? We pause can that? Can we pause that? that? Move, that? Move it. My studio, I did that because I found out my studio was zero. Point three miles from his fucking house. Double trap pause. Double trap pause up. Double, 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 TG3, you got court, man. What the fuck is you doing? Y'all fucked up. Y'all fucked up the whole content. How far is something gonna go with me? Nobody, no man. I'm gonna be honest with you. Listen, whack. And 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 I've known. Listen, I've never doubted you. You've been around me, bro. I don't. I've never doubted you. But 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 once I seen the the big U stuff recently, I was like, man, I'm praying for my man. But I ain't gonna lie to you. What big big U's a rat? He's a bitch. The nigga working for the police. All you niggas is bitches, dick sucking ass niggas. Nigga, if I had a contract that said partnership with LAPD, act, they would have hung me out to dry. You know it. Keep it real. No, of course. But wait, 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 wait. He don't. Keep, like, no, 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 no. Technically, you don't have a contract, contract with LAPD though. Where it said with LAPD, would they not have hung me out to dry? No, no, you're right. But 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 technically, he don't got a contract oh. with LAPD. He does. Have, you want to bet fifty thousand? Yo, whack. Here you go. I send you the paperwork. Let's bang. Act. Why you play for act and stop opening your fucking mouth? Man, let's nah, bet I'm, not, I'm not about to. Act. Brother, brother, let's bet. Let's bet fifty thousand. I will provide you where it says partnership with the LAPD, and it breaks down all this anti-street shit you gotta do. Let them know the hot spots, the gang hangouts, turn in the guns. Um, all information on violence in the neighborhood. Hey, bro, street niggas can't be part of that, bro. Act, you can. We can't. And they paying you for it? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Maybe he retired from the streets at this point. But listen, then guess what? See, act, here goes the thing. Let me ask you a question. Why do you think we holding him accountable? Don't you think if he would have retired, we would have been looking the other way? I did run with him 18 years, right, that? You want to tell me he's retired? You want you you want to tell? Is that what you want to tell me? Or do you want to use your brain and say, "Well, evidently, living a certain way." Mm. Have you heard those words come out of his mouth? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. Clips when you hear him say "neighborhood," that's banging. That's like me saying "plow road." I, f- I feel like you kind of brought him out. I don't think he was trying to talk about that type of stuff. I seen him on Clubhouse recently, bro. I, I think you got him out of character. Yeah, I did that. A nigga, I brought, I, I lured his dumb ass in, and he got on there and lied, and I took his sound bites and lined it up with the paperwork. He said, I never had a Blackberry. I had the footage with him with the Blackberry. I've been sitting on the two, three years. Here you go. That's the Blackberry. He go to the paperwork, stand and issue the Blackberry. Tell me the paperwork where you signed. What's next? Yo, whack. I don't know if you, you watched the uh, Super Bowl. Did Usher violate Alicia Keys? Or nah, man. Yo, he his ass beat. You, no, but it's no, that's entertainment. You, you can't go too crazy on that. That ain't entertainment, bro. Like, see, it's cool if, if you date, dude, if you no, date, listen. if you date Ashanti, you think she not about to like run? I would have beat Usher motherfucking ass. Listen, it's to a point where he knows what he's doing, right? He knows what he's doing, and I can tell the re- through the rehearsal 
it was boundaries. You could tell when they were doing the dancing. At the end of it, that wasn't part of the rehearsal, bro. Oh, he and he, he knows that. what he's doing. Yeah, he did that. You know, uh, Alicia gonna be professional about it. She's not gonna react to shit fucking Super Bowl. But at the end of the day, he know what he be doing, bro. The nigga know what he be doing. He has that little thing going on, and people, you know what he be doing. Think about it. If you look at the whole, the whole performance. He, he kept the right room. At the end, man, you don't wrap your hands around no nigga white waist like that, nigga grind their ass like that. Crazy. Nah, you know, you kind of right about that. The only thing I would say no, is that, like, if... Swiss Beats a real nigga, bro. He just professional about it. He gonna deal with it his way. He's a real boss nigga. So maybe Usher been trying to violate people all along, because he, he... I don't know bro, if you've been he, to he, his he, concert... He been, bro, this been his... This what I'm saying. This what he been doing. Like, he's been doing it on purpose. Mary J shut that ass down. Back up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, he been doing it on purpose, bro. Mm. He's going to do it to the wrong one. He's going to walk up to the wrong female, and the wrong nigga going to be there, and he's going to get socked out. So I'm telling you. Blood walk up on my mom and tell me, bad homies, I'm going to sock him out. <laughs> no, you won't. Nigga, on my, do- my daughter's so I'll break his shit. If he was dancing uh, I, yo, and he doing a good... Dog, if that nigga woke up on mine in front of me like that, bro, I'm socking him out. I don't know. Act, what do y'all think this shit is, bro? He performing. Like, he dog, trying to entertain the crowd. Okay, well, that's why he's supposed to be on the stage, nigga. You, look, he's playing Russian roulette every time he do that shit. Mm. Every time he do that, he playing Russian roulette. He's gonna walk up on the wrong female, bro. They got the right nigga there, and they gonna trip. Nah, you, you, you might be right on that. You, you might be right on that. Tell me, nigga, hey, hey, I'm not going for that. Hey, hey, hey did you see? I don't give a fuck who you are. Did you see BG and Birdman link up? Uh, I think I seen the picture of something on the internet. <laughs> It, it looked like, you know what I mean, despite what they saying about BG, like, you know, Birdman might be giving the pass. Birdman is old man. What they got to do with me? I just exposed here, right? Would you hang if Birdman say, yo, whack, pull up? You'll be all hanging at the club. No, I ain't doing no hanging. They asked me when I do business with him. I said, I'll definitely do business with him. We ain't doing no hanging. Do the right. What is <laughs> I do business with rats. I don't give a fuck about that. As long as you're not a, as long as you ain't uh, touch no kids, uh, shit like that. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, bro. Who you ratted on? It's their job to come do something to you. I don't work for the, you know, them people. Hey, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm gonna call a spade a spade. Hey, hey, hey what? Everybody in my comments section saying that. You better be careful. They say Brick Baby about to put you in a trick bag. What's that? What's a trick bag? Man, I don't know what them people talking about. They're probably, hey, ain't none of them niggas even from California. The people you talking to ain't even from California. I don't know the fuck they talking about. Brick Baby going to put you. I don't even know Brick Baby. You got to be careful, though, because, like, if you if you work somewhere with the nigga who wants you to shit. Play. I don't have to be shit. Nigga, I'm from Pyro, nigga. I don't know what you weird ass niggas think. Like, nigga, like, if we ain't got position out of this motherfucker, I don't gotta be shit. Don't know, ain't no niggas pumping no shit in our heart. Niggas, you stupid. The fuck you talking about? Y'all told Game he had to be careful when he was going out it was 50 Cent, too, right? Fuck out of here, bro. Fuck y'all think we is, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? I gotta be just as careful as I've ever been. Niggas ain't no body nigga 57 with bad knees with a motherfucking Rico indictment. They go sit his old ass down somewhere and worry about that paperwork that's gonna drop on him and that's some more paperwork on him. I ain't done. Man. Hey, it, 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 wait, you were talking about Hassan. Were you and Hassan Campbell back into it or not? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I don't know. Somebody was like you were talking about Hassan Campbell. No, I was just, they asked me about the, uh, Cat Williams. I said that shit was funny as a motherfucker. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. Hey, hey, by the way, who the hell is Big Sad? I don't know who that is. Big Sad, LA, up and coming LA artist. He was hot out here. I guess he exposed him. He was a rat. You could still pop off if you're rat, though, right? Like, I mean, like, look, yeah, finesse through time is flourishing. 
I don't know, bro. We're going to see. Hey, listen, I don't do it to attack their career. The reason why I expose rats, let me tell you why I expose a rat. Let's say, I, let's say you was a street dude, right? Yeah. You doing street business, and you dealing with this nigga because he a real-ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Street say he a solid real-ass nigga. Yeah. Would you not appreciate whack if I got a hold of the paperwork and you ain't knowing and you look up and I show you that this little dude, King G, is a rat? He go to work and you was just going to do a crazy deal that would have got you 100 years? Would you not appreciate me if you was a street nigga? Nah, nah, I get it. But, 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 but you know, I don't most, give a fuck about the fans. The fans can be the fans, bro. Most the of these guys are musicians the for training image, though. I don't, hey, bro, you don't know that. Stop talking like we ain't had artists. Nigga, what's Fetty Wap in there for right now? Work, right? Yeah. Okay, then, nigga, you don't know what these niggas be doing. So this ain't for the fans. Y'all do what the fuck you want to do. Follow them, follow stream, double up, triple up. I don't give a fuck. Right? This for the niggas in the streets who might was just finna do a deal with these niggas and do something with these niggas they should do. I'm making you aware. Other than that, I don't give a fuck what these, what these people do. What up, bro? Uh, I, I, hey, I ain't gonna lie. Somebody told me that 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 Gunna, since Big U stamped Gunna, Gunna didn't tell. <laughs> you ain't hear that? See, that's a dumbass kid. Who the fuck? What human being could erase talent from somebody? This is why the streets is a myth. Shout out Tory Lanez. I mean Tory Tory Ann, free Tory Ann. This is streets is a myth, bro. Can't nobody erase talent. This is why I don't even respect the streets no more. Whoever said that is a little dumbass kid, right, to play video games all day. What's up, mama? How the fuck you gonna say a nigga is gonna, a human being can clear another man from telling? You can't do the paperwork. So it was the paperwork said you write it, you was a rat. It, it, <laughs> That's it. It, 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 it sounds like you just got to know jumping, man. It's where I'm at. Man, I told him I was gonna be here. Man, I, I'm no, glad right, you safe, man. As long as, that, as long as that nigga brick ain't in sight, man. Man, dude ain't nobody, bro. You're a little dude with dreadlocks. Dude don't want to die, bro. <laughs> you don't want to. He sees a nigga that's trying to go viral. He ain't he the same shit sharp dude to you. He do to me. No, no, I definitely think he's trying to use your name, though. I, I kind of realize. That's it. Shit ain't gonna work. Or it's not gonna work because... You a dope fiend nigga who say you do, you do gay shit sometimes. You seen him admit to that, right? He and Adam do gay shit sometimes. He said what? Nah, nah, that, nah, nah. Oh, Paul, I really said that. You want me to say, I'll send you the clip. You gonna post it? <laughs> nah, he ain't say that. Yo, act chill out, bro. You knew he ain't say that. Yo, like, you if I seen it, yo, 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 act, let me ask you something. What if you heard me say I got something and I ain't got it? He said he do gay shit from time to time. He said it live on no jumper. Me and Adam do that shit sometimes. <laughs> yo, 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 what? Let, let me ask you an interesting question. Yo, how what does up? how does somebody defeat you? Like, sure. like you ever thought I about that what? yourself? How does somebody defeat what? you? How does somebody do what? Defeat you. Defeat me. First of all, I'm an Aries. I only speak on what I know. If I don't know, I won't talk about it. If I don't know 100%, I can know 99%, I ain't going to talk about it. Like, 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 hold on. You like, cannot beat me with a lie. I will tell you, you cannot beat me with a lie. That ain't going to work. I'm going to destroy you. Because I'm only going to talk about what I have. I'm not going to talk about what somebody told me. I'm not going to talk about what I think is coming. If it's not physically in my hand, I didn't read this shit a zillion times. When it pulled it cross reference I'm not going to talk about it. Hey, hey, you, you got to be careful of that, uh, like, because he been talking crazy about you, the, 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 the cowboy dude. I don't think he appreciate your commentary, brother, or, like, whatever you be He's saying. a rat, too. He's a rat, too. Who he took the stand. Oh, okay, okay. He took the stand on Eric Holder. He's a rat. And the nigga's a motherfucking, um, he's a child molester. Megan's law. Go put him up. No. I don't respect you. You want to bet? 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bet. Yo, Wack, how you know all this shit? What you mean, bro? Nigga, the honest side. Nigga, I got research teams, you know that? I got spies, research teams, you know that, bro? I got a whole operation over there, bro. Mm. It's a fact. Nigga, the same niggas that, that I use to protect you. 
Well, they was coming with bullshit. I had them go research and I sat in there and debated with them dudes about what you didn't do. What you meant by when you said in college, if you had this type of ID. Same research team that said, whack, Jersey uh, legal age of consent is 16, New York is 17. So technically he was right. If they got a motherfucker that type of ID, they use it between those ages of 18. So what act is saying is not weird. Same team, bro. Hey, when I was talking about that, I was talking about Tiger. I, then I was talking about college. I was like, yo, in college, there's a four year gap. Saying, but they there's a four year gap that people don't usually up. check. They tried to fry you up, you know. Nah, nah, they did. They, they, they turned into some bullshit. Yeah. They, th- they turned into some, oh, that's his preference. I'm like, nigga, I'm speaking yeah, on the no. topic. Yeah, but, but not only that, you was talking about back when you was in college, not right now. Like, yeah, you're not yeah, at a college like, campus. Yeah, yeah, like when you're on a college campus, if somebody's at college, you assume everybody's of age. Like, you don't, you don't really check. Yeah, like that, that, but, but the like thing it. about it, y'all legal age of consent is 16 out there. So, and like out here in California, it's in my head 18. All our life, we like can't wait to be 18, can't wait to be 18. Out there is 16, and New York is 17. It's actually 30 plus states that legal age of consent is 16, right? It's less states is 18 than the 16, 17. It's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Now, what's crazy about it, how they got R. Kelly, this is why R. Kelly ain't doing state time. State time, they couldn't book him because the age of consent up in Illinois is 17. He's doing fed time because federal time across the U.S. is 18. Regardless, they can use that when I, they want to. I thought he was doing time for, for like, you know, um, um, like almost like human trafficking, like against people will type shit. Yeah, yeah, because he was saying and saying that, that she wasn't 18. Federal law says you have to be 18 in every state. They can use it when they want. It's just like the weed laws, right? Weed is it's illegal federally. It's illegal. If they want to come to California and take all these niggas to jail, they got a state license to sell weed, they could. There's nothing, nothing they can do about it. The feds use it when they want to use it against who they want to use it on. Because it's illegal to distribute marijuana federally. In the state of California, it's legal in the state. But the feds trump the state. So even in this situation, the law of the land, United States of America, federal law is 18. Mm. But yet you could be in Jersey stat and the state law is 16. It's like really a, some entrapment type shit. But they use it on, on they use it when they want to use it. Yo, listen, I need to get loose cannon and uh Sharice Mills up here, bro, to interview with you. ASAP. Bro. When they gonna be in New York? I mean, let me know. I need to do that ASAP. I'm, I'm my business partners. You know, we got down to 200,000 subs for our first thing. I'm working hey, with them. I'm it, reaching it, out is, to my brothers. Hey, by the way, is that network competing with Zeus? Like, because it, it looks it looks actually uh, like a legit not competing with Zeus. Bro, bro, listen. That's like saying, are you competing with fucking Joe Button? The fucking yeah, yeah. Gillian okay, Wilder, okay, okay, bro. Okay, bro, they're you. just a network. Mm. Yeah, they're just, they're just a network. That's it, bro. Like, I hate when people do that. They have network. They got content. This is new content. We got two, three more shows. We're going to pop over there. Ray J's coming with the Tronics Network. Same style setup. Uh-uh. You know, there's no different. There's no different. When podcasts start happening, you start seeing a bunch of them pop up. The major ones hit, and now you see a bunch of little ones everywhere. Clubhouse, this shit, that shit. You know, people just doing their business. They ain't, they, ain't, they not compete with nobody. You know, they urban clicks. And they got content over there. They got contracts with people. I'm working with them. I need uh, Loose Cannon and Sharice to come up and interview with you. And uh, I'm going to call you back and see what we can do on some promo on the, on the academic space. All right. Let's set it up. Just text me. We'll set it up. Uh, all right. Cool. Love. All right. Bet. That's one thing about wax. All right. Low cap. Media Productions. <laughs>